Hi friends, my name is Betty Weisbrick and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator who lives in St. Joseph, Minnesota. So I hope you're watching today. I'd like to share with you some, uh, a new idea I have with some new sets, a new set, a new, a new, um, oh my gosh, Betty, a new suite that I have is coming out in online exclusives and it'll be out for customers on March 1st. As a demonstrator, I'm able to pre-order some of this and have some fun playing. So um, it's really a great opportunity being a demonstrator right now because you get to pre-order and have fun with things. So this is the Simply Zinnia Suite. I love the Zinnia flowers. I love the font and the words, sending flowers and thinking of you. I mean, what a, that's just amazing. I love that that saying. And then I'm also going to be using one of the new sets that's coming out. It's called Sweetly Scripted. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. Happy birthday. A million thanks. Speedy recovery and save the date. I love the scripty font. I'm going to be using the happy birthday with that one. The Simp Simply Zinnias does come with dies to cut out all these different images. The three flowers, the single flowers, the leaves, um, you can make a zinnia with these two petals together. Let me get it out. Oh, you know, I just had another idea. I am going to do something with these. Oh, and the halo. Look at this halo with the pretty um, uh, stars that are in it. Okay. Anyway, that's what that one is all about. So you have dies, stamp set, an embossing folder. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love this embossing folder. Zinnia is all over it, and it's one of the 3D dynamic ones. And it also comes with some sequins, the flat sequins. They already have adhesive on the back and the colors. And last but not least, let me grab this. Here is the designer paper. So there's a die that would cut out these. Okay, that's that one. The leaves. Uh, kind of tone on tone with the berry burst and then the berry burst zinnias. That. Little zinnias, which would be really pretty. This is gorgeous. Cut this in half and think you could make six cards out of this one with the, just the background. This designer paper will make your card for you so much easier. And then another set of zinnias. And of course, so those are pretty bold patterns. When you flip it over, they're more muted but you have pumpkin pie, lemon lime twist, petal pink, berry burst, old olive, and heather, Highland Heather. Okay, those are some of the colors that are in it with the lemon lolly. There's some lemon lolly in there. So that is the designer paper, which I'm not gonna be using for this project. So what I'm gonna do is show you a pretty quick and easy card and doing a lot of tone on tone. So I'm starting out, my base is going to be Whisper White. And so I, when I have the base, I use the thick Whisper White because that makes it a heavier duty card. Have it scored in the middle. And then this is the Zinnia embossing folder. So it's embossed on this side. It's raised a little bit. And on this side is the debossed side. I don't think there's a right or a wrong way. I choose to use the embossed side so that the pattern is coming out at me. I'll just set that aside. And these are the zinnias. And now I've already stamped them and die cut them out because you know how to do that. But I want to show you how to color them in. And I'm going to be using two different um, color. Let me see here. I'm going to grab this one. So this one is like the flirty flamingo. So I kind of followed that pattern. And this one is the berry burst. And so I followed that pattern. All right. So I kind of keep that close to me. So I start out with my dark lemon lolly. And I am just going to color around like this ring. And there's some little stars. There's some little stars here. Okay. I'm going to do that on both of them because they're both going to have the stars are going to be the same. It's like that ring, so I'm done with that one. Then I'm going to take Dark Daffodil Delight. I'm going to use the brush marker, and I'm going to color in the inside of that. So now you can see the difference. I'll show it to you. 
there's the difference between the light or the dark lemon lolly and then the dark daffodil delight. So it really pops that ring and that's what I wanted. Then I'm going to be using flirty flamingo first and I'm going to start out with my light and I'm just going to go around the outside. You know, whenever I've colored as a kid, I always went around the, um, the image first, outlined it. So I was doing my fine motor skills here. Now, if, if for some reason you are a little shaky, and sometimes I am, to be honest with you, I would use the bullet side. But because I can use um, the brush marker here, and then I'm just going to brush around here, lining up to where my lemon lolly is. Now, if you don't have a dark lemon lolly, but you have a light daffodil, you could probably get the same effect. Um, okay, and then I'm just gonna do my little flecking here. Of my coloring all this in. With the alcohol markers, they blend so well. I can go any way I want and it's not gonna matter. With our markers, the old markers we have, um, you're gonna see those lines, okay? So now I am gonna take and I'm gonna add some color, more color to this, and I'm gonna do the dark daffodil. And I'm gonna use the bullet, the bullet of my blends. And again, our concept artists have made this so easy Wherever you see these lines, I'm just flicking up on the lines. I'm gonna be coloring in some of these petals or pieces of them. But wow, what a difference just adding that dark flamingo, flirty flamingo onto where these are and just coming down a little bit, wherever those lines are. Thank you, concept artists. Keep going, because I have a really hard time shadowing but boy what a difference it makes okay all right I was going to have these colored ahead of time and then I thought no I think you need to see how quick and easy this is um, and then I just kind of go back around add a little bit more Wow, what a difference. I just, I absolutely love this. I absolutely love it. So now you can see, I just went around on some of the lines and you can see that I pulled in that detail and now it actually looks like a flower. Now, the next one I'm gonna use, of course, I'm gonna do the highlighting of the darker. I'm gonna use the Berry Burst. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with my light Berry Burst, the brush marker side. And I'm going to, I'm kind of using the side of my blends. I try not to go right on the tip because I don't want my tip to break down too much. And this is a little bit darker color. And now for some reason, I'm getting a little bit more shaky, but that's okay. You can tell it's probably close to lunchtime for me. I am having so much fun with the Zinnia set. I know, like, can you have too many flowers? Not when it comes to zinnias, because they're so beautiful. I just absolutely love them. And they can tell you happy birthday. They can tell you I'm so sorry. You know, you can use them for so many purposes. I, I try to get things that can be used for more than one occasion. Sometimes you just can't, but that's what I try. I want to get the best bang for my buck. Okay, I'm going here. Like I said, this is the light berry burst, but it looks dark. Okay, so now once I have that, I'm just going to color in the rest of this. You color however you see fit, okay? Whatever works for you, continue to do it. But that's nice about the blends, because if I was doing this with a regular marker, you would see a lot of streaking. Okay. This is gorgeous all by itself, but I'm going to kick it up a notch and I'm actually going to take the dark berry burst. And even though it's not going to be as noticeable as it was with the flirty flamingo, it still is there. And I'm just coloring and flicking this up here down on these tips, um, down on these tips. There we go. 
And it does make a difference. The dark, dark does make a difference. Okay. All right. I think I am good. Oh, I'm just going to add a little bit more color up here. I'm going to add color onto this one. I'm kind of just picking some of the leaves and adding a little bit more color. I can always come back and add more, but that's how that one is. Okay, now let's put our card together. So I have, this is my Zinnia with the, um, so it's got tone on tone. I could have just embossed the front of this card, but I didn't want that to be on the inside, okay? I just think it looks nicer and what's a quarter of a sheet. This is just our basic white, it is not the thick. Okay, and what I'm gonna do first is I want to, here it is, I wanna add some ribbon. And I debated what kind of ribbon do I add? Do I get a colored ribbon? And I'm trying to stick with like a monochromatic. So I just went with white, but it's gotta have some silver. It's gotta have a little sparkle, you know, Betty Lake sparkle. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive back here. I've also seen people do it like with a tape, you know, just regular scotch tape, you go for it. Whatever works for you is fine with me. But this works well for me. So again, I'm gonna make a little faux bow and I'm gonna take my green glue because I, I think it holds better and I'm just gonna add a little bit around. I am making this card for a swap I'm in with some other demonstrators in Minnesota we get together and we swap like when new catalogs come out, this is gonna be a new online exclusive that's coming out in March. So that's why I'm doing this one now. Um, now is a great time to become a demonstrator. This glass mat is a game changer for me because I never know what kind of table I'm gonna to have to stamp on. I don't have to worry. My mat can stamp with the photopolymers. So I don't have to carry any extra things with me. This mat is valued at $60. You can get it free if you sign up before uh, February 29th. So it's $185 value total. 60 of it is this, and then the other 125 is product that you can get out of the catalogs. And you only are paying $99. So it's a good deal. Um, come be part of my group, Sunshine Stampers. We meet once a month. We have a great time. We have more fun. We do a lot of stamping and a lot of laughing and we just have a great time. So I'd love to have you join us. Now I'm gonna be using the Happy Birthday from my Sweetly Scripted, okay? And I'm just going to just lightly ink this up. Probably gonna get my head in the picture here so I know what I'm doing. Okay. And with this glass mat, Okay, I don't have, let me just grab something quick here. My paper towel, it does come with a chamois, but my chamois is probably somewhere where it's, I can't get at it. But you can see the marks here, they just wipe right off. Yeah, it's so cool. All right, so I have that done. And now I'm gonna take my two flowers and I have, oh my nose itches. And I have to decide which one goes where and how am I gonna do this here and here. Oh, I love this card. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one down flat. I'm gonna put it down flat because I want my flamingo, flirty flamingo one to pop. So I have my dimensionals. And I'm gonna put down, I think of four of them. I don't want them, I don't want it to be wobbly. You don't like wobbly flowers. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Okay, put that right there. And then I'm gonna take my happy birthday and I'm gonna do the same thing. But here's, you know, I use up all of my dimensionals. I cut the edges and this is perfect for the edge. I'm just gonna take a couple of these and put them here. Alrighty. 
and I'm going to lay that across here. Uh, I'm going to close this up because I will stick my finger in it. I'm telling you, this is how I am. I'm going to make, this would be pretty just like this, but I'm going to put a little bow on here, not bow. I'm going to put a little knot, like a slip knot or whatever. Okay. And, okay, trim this off. See, I leave my ribbon right on the bolt. That way I don't waste any more than I have to. All right, now I'm gonna put some of those sequins on. And I like to do them in odd numbers. So let me see here. I am going to take, I'm gonna use this one. It's kind of like the lemon lolly color, pulling that out. Okay, and I'm gonna put another one over here. And then I'm gonna take another one and just put it right there. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, put this away. Now, last but not least, I like glitter. I like glitter. So I'm gonna take my Wink Estella and I'm just going to flick up and around on all of these petals. Okay. I'm not coloring in every petal. I don't want to do that. And I want to flick across. I probably should have done it before I, there we go. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. So then you can see the Wink of Stella that I have in here. All right. Now, the other thing I did to finish off my card is I used this thing, textured florals. I love Every thought of you makes me smile, okay? So what I did on the inside is I stamped off, I with Flirty Flamingo, I stamped off the zinnia that I used here, okay? And then I stamped the greeting over it. So I like to try to finish off my card with that. This card did not use any of that designer paper, but the next ones I'm gonna be showing you will show some of the designer paper. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hit subscribe now if you did like it. Um, again, I've said this so many times, I'm, I'm still a work in progress and I'm working. I have PDF files on these projects. I just haven't figured out how to attach them to my YouTube video. So um, if you're interested and you have any, um, if you need anything, please let me know. My link is, I believe, somewhere in the comment section. Like I said, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. So Work with me, but have a great day um, and stay healthy and safe. Love you. Bye.